Hey, hey, YouTube, what's up? Sam here, and today I am coming at you with RPG a day, day 16, question 16, which is which RPG do you like to run or use as is? Um, and for me, this one actually was really simple, but I didn't think it was going to be um, because most of the games that I play or run, because I really I run them more than I play them, is uh, I, I homebrew stuff, I change stuff, right? To as most people do, I think, to um, you know, to make that fit. Um, but for me, the one that I don't need to change, the one that that works perfectly, in my opinion, as is, is Cipher System. You know, Cipher System is a game that is extremely simple to adjudicate, extremely simple to run, and the way it's designed is it basically says, you know, if you need customization within your game, just do it on the fly. So it's not exactly changing it or modifying it, you know, like like la yesterday's question would have been, um, it, it's not required. You don't need to do that. So, I mean, with Cypher System, it's very simple to run. Basically, everything has a level. And a level equates to basically a target number that the PCs have to hit. So, for example, if the PCs are going, or let's say they're, they're in a combat situation and they're coming up against a level four creature. <clears throat> that means um, any tasks involving that creature, the PCs are going to need to roll a 12 or better. Because in, in, um, in the Cypher system, the way the game works is uh, levels... Are, multiplied by three are the target number that you have to hit on your dice, right? So, or for example, you know, if you're in a in an area and there's an obstacle in the way, and you've you as the GM have set that obstacle at you know a, a level five obstacle, right? That means that the without any modifications, the players are going to have to roll a fifteen or better on their dice, right? And then the mechanics are set up so that they have the ability to, instead of adding numbers and modifiers to the roll, they have the ability to reduce the level, essentially, right? So they might, what starts out as a level 5 task, they might be able to reduce to a level 4 task um, by spending a little bit of effort. And then maybe they work together and come up with a clever solution that gives them an asset on the task, which reduces it to a level three task, right? And so where you were originally looking at a 15 or better, now you're looking at a nine or better on your dice. So it's really simple. There's really no need at all for modification. Cypher system can be run as is, I think for almost any game you wanna run. Um, you know, certainly some games it, it, won't, it won't do as well, but I think it's a good one, and I think that is the answer for me for question 16. So I'd love to see what you guys think, what, which ones you run as is. Um, I know some people just run every game as is. They like to play games raw, and that makes sense. Um, so anyway, that's my piece. Have fun.